baby. I'm feeling pretty lousy after my shot. I missed my flight. What do you mean you're not coming? I got us like reservations at Mayfair and everything. What am I supposed to do? Don't worry, I got another friend to go with you. A friend? Who in space is gonna come to the Mayfair Silver Club with me though? Oh my god! It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So we're here at Mayfair Slepper Club. Mayfair is the newest restaurant in the Bellagio Las Vegas, and it really fills a special niche. In a world where Vegas entertainment is still a bit sparse, the Mayfair functions as a bit of a hybrid between modern dining establishments and an old-school 1920s jazz club. But the real question is, while this likely does appeal to the trendy crowd, is it for the everyday Las Vegas tourist? Well, that's what we're here to find out today. All right, Spinners and Sharks, so we're actually inside the Mayfair now, hanging out with my girl Danica, as you guys already know. Danny, say what's up to the people. Hi! Oh, wait, I'm short. Hi! We're just a little short. It's quite all right, though. So we are inside the Mayfair Supper Club. That is the newest restaurant at Bellagio Resort in Casino Las Vegas. And we're actually going to go ahead and give it a try now. Going to look over the menu, grab a couple cocktails, and then grab a little bit of food. Probably something light, because uh, I'm still apparently expected at the stage door, and I'm late because uh, the Planet Prime got a little messed up. Lounge experience. I like the lounge here. They've got some live entertainment going down. Wow. So pretty in here. Let's swing. Do up, do up, do up, do up, do up. Right. On the meantime, though, would I be able to get a Manhattan, please? Would you like an upper? Oh. Is oh, sorry? Uh, on the rock. Alright guys, we got the Manhattan. Finally gonna go ahead and try this out. Let you know what we think. Not too bad, it's smooth. It's a little light. I would have preferred that it be stronger. 4 out of 5 on that one for sure. But it's got a good flavor to it. Alright Danny, so you got yourself that lemon drop martini. Well, more accurately, I got you the lemon drop martini. Let's call it what it is. Because <laughs> I talked to you into it. So, yeah, we, 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 got a, we got a vlogging black hole over here that's happening. We're, we're crossing the streams. So, yeah, but let's go ahead and see how it is. All right, so, do you want to read what's in this? Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, now you're behind the, uh, you're behind it. But the lemon drop martini, it's pretty standard. You're looking at some Grey Goose in there, uh, limoncello, uh, yellow chartreuse, lemon, and the, uh, citrus bubbly, or bubbly. Bubbly, I don't know. <laughs> okay. But some good stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see exactly uh, how it is. Go for it. Or do I lick it? You can. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even lick the sugar off because it's... That's weird. It's a, yeah, so you get a bit of sugar in there. That's it. And there you go. That's a good stuff right there. It's good. What do you it's... Think? I was about to say slightly sour, but I don't think that's the right word I'm looking for. Maybe a little tart? It's a sweeter drink. Right. Like something, yeah, like you probably think it's more of a, like a sugary type of deal. Right, gotcha, but so. But not like, I don't, I don't like, um, like I don't like soda type drinks. Like I don't like all that sugar and stuff. But I like this. Like I feel like, like, I feel like the soda stuff kind of makes me sick and I don't think this would make me sick. So out of five, what would you give it? Yeah. Five out of five? Alright, so we're two for two on the drinks. Five out of five. And so what I'm thinking is I want to do the coconut shrimp. And how is that way you eat fried rice? Is it amazing? Can I have one of those too? Alright, that sounds lovely. And let me see what my best buddy wants over here. I think she just wants to go swing dancing. Okay, alright, so explain to this, uh, explain to me again what you just told our server. Sorry, I'm crying in my ID photo, and it looks like a mugshot. It was a very bad day. <laughs> He's like, "What?" I was. That's what I was like. What? <laughs> I was. 
it, it, it looks like a regular, you know, I, I think all driver's license photos but and like, mugshots. I'm not, I'm not gonna get into it because I'm not gonna say it publicly because I might handle this legally of what had happened that day. So we're not gonna get into this. Um, Fair enough, but it was a bad day, bottom line. <laughs> I had to get a new license, but I shouldn't have, and we'll leave it at that. And Fair was, enough. I'll, I'll tell you off camera. Alright, we'll talk about that off stream. <laughs> then you're gonna understand why I was crying. Got it. But I was crying in my photo. It was a whole thing. And know. I still took the photo. <laughs> lady at the DMP was like, I'm sorry, you have, <laughs> you gotta do this. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's a funny story to tell. It's not funny! You're laughing! Oh, it's a funny story. It's just like, sorry, my picture looks like a mugshot and I'm crying in my ID photo with no makeup, no nothing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and that was the highlight of the video. <laughs> and you weren't even recording. Wasn't before. even recording. I missed that entirely. You know, I gotta admit, it's fluffy. fluffy. Definitely fluffy, so good stuff there. Okay, having a look at the table over here. So the coconut shrimp, it, it actually comes in a coconut. That's nuts. <laughs> you put the lime in the coconut and drink them both up. <laughs> so that's the coconut shrimp right there. Also got the Wagyu beef uh, fried rice over here. This definitely looks like it's going to be tasty. So looking forward to that, to go with Manhattan. And then, Danica, what in space did you get over here? I took the menu, so I forgot. <laughs> it's a squash schnitzel. Oh, yeah, <laughs> schnitzel. Uh, schnitzel. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is word? What are it's words? a squash schnitzel. That's fried. That is fried. So that's going to be interesting. She said it was fried squash with yogurt, and that sounds so weird. And they put the yogurt on the side of this Aladdin little. You got it in the lamp over there, the gravy, the gravy boat. <laughs> <laughs> Great, that's what it is. Right. You're like the lamp? <laughs> You're right? Robin Williams? <laughs> or I guess Will Smith now. Will Smith. <laughs> Alright right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and try the Wagyu beef fried rice first. Right Get a good that. scoop of that. So what's going on here? Let's try this first bite of food. Mm. That's actually really good. Really well blended, um, not oily or anything like that. The beef is tender. You can actually taste it in there. Wow. Some, that's some good fried rice, I gotta admit. Okay. Yeah, five out of five, so far so good. All right, so we got the schnitzel over here. Now that's closer to talking to us. <laughs> well, it's all good. All right. Let's have a bite, though. Let's see. Right, so I cut like a little corner off. I got like a little bit of. I guess the fried squash a little bit. I guess this is regular squash, not fried. Oh, okay, so it's just kind of fried on the outside. A little bit of whatever the spread stuff is. A little bit of whatever. Alright, so how is it? Let's see. Mm. Oh, I'm getting a no te gusta over here. Oh, get pour some more to it. Alright, not a fan of the squash schnitzel. Okay, so Ace of Vegas is going to try it and I'm going to get his reaction on camera. Let's see about it. I'm not a big squash fan either, so it's probably going to be about the same. It's not that I'm not a squash fan, it's just... Oh, I'm not a squash fan, so that's going to be a... Oh, okay. Trouble. I like squash, it's just... yeah. That's surprisingly sweet, actually. That's what... yeah, it's weird. It's sweet. And it's fried. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look too squashy, honestly. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think it's something I'd order normally, but um, yeah, I'd probably be able to get down with that. Honestly, I give that I give that a three out of five. I wouldn't I wouldn't normally order it, mm -hmm. um, but if someone just kind of ordered it, I'd probably have a few bites of it. So three out of five. That's not too bad. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna try the coconut shrimp over here. It comes with a lovely little coconut sauce, and then we have the lime. It also goes in, so we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of that, a little bit of that lime juice over here, and just gonna make my hand all, uh, all yogurty. Yogurty? Or something? I don't know. They just like yogurt around here. Yogurt. Right. <laughs> right. So let's try the sauce. Real sweet. All right. 
probably waited too long to eat those. Yeah, we were doing a lot of talking about some uh, personal <laughs> YouTube business stuff, but yeah, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was actually pretty good there. Um, it's all four out of five. I think it's a perfect five out of five, honestly. I just waited too long and it got too cold, so. I'm sorry, it's my it's my fault. <laughs> it's my fault because I need to talk. Do, do I scoop it up in the spoon like, this, like water? I, know, I am not going to help you on that one. <laughs> Why did they give me a spoon? How am I supposed to, like, first you have a fork? Uh, you did have a fork. Uh, you originally had a fork. It's water. This flat... I was about to cuss. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta focus. You know, this is a lot like taking cinnamon somewhere. <laughs> That's a better face than we got for the squash. Mildly better face than we got from the squash. Okay. I'm the worst cook. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. I thought about doing Danica tries to cook videos. That sounds painful. <laughs> These noodles are like, you know noodles are supposed to be soft? Well, I mean, if, if you have it authentic al dente, that it's got a little bit of a crisp to it. Yeah, it's not like, it's not soft. I mean, it is what it is. Like, it's not like, what do you think of when you think of noodles being soft? It's kind of like... Yeah, al dente. And I have no sense of smell because I've always had really bad allergies my whole life because mm -hmm. I'm like a dog, cat, so yep. can't, can't get around it, you know. <laughs> um, you <wanna> <laughs> do you like that better, my favorite? Yeah, I like it better. Uh, I don't know how you could mess up a roll. So that's why I'm eating this, but at the same time, I don't know how you mess up pasta. Shoulder shrug. <laughs> Never take me to these reviews again. I'm too negative. Uh, apparently, I cannot take you to any review over here. I'm not sure what my wife sent you. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's try it out. Don't get in your food. Don't ruin your food. It's buttery. You like it? Yeah. Oh my god. It's a little rich. I think the sauce is just a little too rich. I'm not meant for the food you like. But uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I get I gave it a solid four out of five. Just, the sauce is just a little too good, so it hits you on the tail end a little harder, I think. <laughs> I hate how negative I'm being right now, but I don't want to lie either. See, I should have taken the Kinos. <laughs> yeah, taking <laughs> I'm taking you next time. We're going to have a great time. <laughs> I'll, I'll pretend next time, next time, I'll lie, and I'll pretend to like everything, but make gross out faces the entire time. Like, mm. Yeah, that's what I do. But I'm like, it's great. <laughs> you, guys just, you can laugh at my suffering as I pretend to be positive. And, loving and uplifting. <laughs> this review went from zero to a hundred. I love it. <laughs> All right, Spinners and Sharks, here we are. We are heading back out to Sage Shore to try something that's a little chiller over here. Danica, how do you feel about uh, Mayfair? Tell me honestly. Um, <laughs> the most bougie, expensive thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> also, the worst experience I've ever had in my whole life. She was miserable the whole time. It was hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so, now we're off to Sage Door to go ahead and do I'm some drinking even... to catch up. <laughs> I should... Okay, I'm gonna say something inappropriate. At least inappropriate for my channel, probably. I'm curious. I'm short. You gotta... You gotta... Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm five foot. <laughs> I noticed. I wish I was wasted. Maybe it would have been a little bit more tolerable. <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's Ace of Vegas and... Danica Rutland. And we're signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. Bye.